ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ari Gore. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah. of course. Good. It's a lot of effort to do this. Welcome. Hello. How are you? Well, I'm well. How are you? Very good. 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 Um, I was thinking about our water, a lot of our conversation this morning. I'm just like, what I wanted to bring out of this. Um, but really, it can just be what you want it to be. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to start off with some fun? Sure, please. Okay. I have some would you rathers. Okay, yeah. Yeah? Mm hmm Okay. Yeah. Okay. I tried to tailor make these to mm. you. Okay. Okay. Would you rather listen to one song exclusively for the rest of your life or never the same song twice? Mm. I, I would probably go with the first one. I would listen to the same song over and over, actually. Okay. Yeah. So if, I, man, if I don't have a choice. Follow up. What would the song be? What would you do? <sighs> um... It seems like you had one picked uh, uh, out. Well, just the song that I made, probably, you know, one of yeah. my own. Yeah, just nice. listen to it over and over. Okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> That'd be nice because then you could kind of fine tune and everything. Yeah. And it would still well, that, be the same song. That's the recording process. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Okay. Mm. Next one. Yeah. Would you rather, this is school related. Okay. Would you rather proctor a test or take a test every week for a year? I'd rather take a test. Yeah. Yeah doesn't matter what subject it's really boring to proctor tests it's super boring like that's the thing I probably won't miss at all right is watching other people take tests yeah 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 you can't really do a whole lot can you no I mean not the way they've structured it <laughs> <laughs> they yes quotation marks mm. would you rather mm. swim in a pool of salad dressing <laughs> of your choice yes or soak in a hot tub of gravy. What shape are the the pools in the hot tubs? Are they big? Um, is this a big hot tub? Let's say that the pool is kidney bean. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's say that the hot tub is a palm tree. Wow. Um, I'd go in the pool for sure. Change your answer. Yeah. Yeah. It does. <laughs> really? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> what salad dressing? Uh, blue cheese. Good. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, a little chunky. A little chunky. Can float on top. Yep. Yeah. It's great. I don't want to drown. <laughs> hmm. I feel like something would get lodged. Would you rather <laughs> yes. have every day be the first day of school or every day have a project to do? Every day have a project to do for sure. Easy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. don't have a follow up to that one. Okay. It was a good question though. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Would you rather? I don't know if this one takes some explanation or not. It might be obvious. Would you rather be a professional lion stander or a professional wedding guest? Lion stander. Yeah. This like is... you hold places in line for people. No one does that. That's not a real thing. I looked it up. It is a real thing. Mm. Mm. Because for this question, I looked up weird And jobs. what are my choices again? The lion stander. Or? Wedding guest. I hate weddings. Lion stander. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Even though I don't know what it is. Go ahead. Um, roller coasters? Post office. Mm, mm, nah, I don't DMV. do DMV. I don't do roller coasters. Never have. But you don't have to. You're just standing in line. Oh, I see. I gotcha. Right? Um, yeah. No, roller coasters. It's very interesting. Okay. Yeah. You're going to at least watch other people. Yeah. People that got Help on. them get on. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I think that's so nice. Thank you. Um, okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. One fourth plus two eighths. One fourth plus two eighths this is one half. Right. You're right. Yeah. Good job. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I wanted to just like let you talk about things for a bit. Okay. Um, so like what made you start teaching? Um, How did that come about? Because I don't think we've ever talked about this. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember talking about it. It doesn't come up that often in conversation. Actually, it's like yeah. kind of like that question, like you know, when you go to college, like what's your major, and they ask you that for a little while, and then nobody asks you that anymore. <laughs> um, but so I went to the program in Boulder 
for teaching. And I think that I wanted to do that because I still had some idealism left over from being in Santa Cruz and mm -hmm. studying literature. And I thought that maybe I could help people to like to read and all those kinds of things. Um, so I, I went from the program to a very tough school in Mapleton School District. And I had no skills in teaching. And it just got worse and worse, really, during the year. And then finally, I was pink slipped. So mm -hmm. then um, I met a person who explained to me that teaching was about relationship building. And that's really where it started for me, actually, in the second year. Yeah. Um, so you know, I was walking down the hall, and I said, how do, you, how do you get the secret numbers? I need the secret numbers to be able to post to people's grades. You know? And I need, I need to have you know, anonymity. And she looked at me and she goes, we don't do that here, we have fun. And I stopped dead and I thought, I have never ever considered fun to be a part of this. Right. And I was working in the middle school, you know, and it never even entered my brain. You know, all that I thought was, will I survive? So I watched her teach. I actually went after school and watched her interact with kids and I saw that it was about you know, creating relationship. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's what really started it for me. That's what got me interested in being a teacher. So I thought, you know, if this is what the job's about, I can do it. But if it's about like getting people to want to read, that's impossible. Right. You know. I wonder what your first year would have been like had someone told you that before you started. Before I started, yeah. Right, like in the right. program, like, right. this can be fun. Right, my, I mean, my student, it should be my fun. student teaching experience did not prepare me for that, you know. Right. Uh, the woman was very old, and she thought that she was controlling the classroom, and there was like white slavery going on in the back, it's you know, drug trade or whatever it was. Right. And 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 Silk so Road. and so I thought I thought it was like oh you have to be very clever and you have to see everything and you have to like if you're going to be good at this you have to be I yeah you have to have like a lot of eyes, and that's that turns out to not be really that much of an asset you know <laughs> uh it's more important to like see see them right. you know and for them to see themselves yeah yeah um so you already kind of addressed some of the other things um yeah. so what what have you taught within your career so from oh, mapleton through now right uh you know mostly english but social studies for sure and then some various things like drama and um I did. I created pro the program at Long's Peak back in the day, and then um, the history of rock and roll and like guitar mm -hmm. and I mean all sorts of like things that you really get to teach at a middle school. You know, um, picking up an instrument you, for the first time. Yeah, because you can learning something that you like. Yeah, discovering you, it. Right. You can find you can find a way to be doing those things in yeah. a middle school. Yeah, or you used to. Uh, have you done middle school exclusively? Yeah, I've never taught anything else. Okay. Yeah, and I've taught 20 years at Long's Peak. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, that's kind of how we first met. Right, um, right. It's like through Bruce Bennett. And yes. Coming down and just like jamming during your breaks and everything. Yeah. Um, that was way before I thought that I was going to be a teacher. I, like you, I, I hadn't had the thought yet. Right, right. It was a holdover I felt like from... It reminded me of my growing up years of just playing with people, jamming all the time, and like, right. you know, and just it being like, hey, anybody can play, and you know, and um, yeah. So I found that to be, I found that to be a really great part of my early years at Long Speak was, you know, being friends with Bruce, and then also like having this musical connection. And then you came, and it was like, who's that dude with so much hair? <laughs> You know, it was a different time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Did you see um, other people that way? So, like, kind of before they decided to be a teacher, like, have you had students that have become teachers along the way? Not that, not that I'm aware of. I've heard um, from my friend that I taught with at, in Adams Twelve um, for a few years before I came to Long's Peak. Um, he has much better connections with people through Facebook and so forth and so on. Yeah. And he sees that like some of the kids that 
I knew at that time, uh, you did end up becoming teachers. Yeah. Um, mostly music teachers, actually. Really? Yeah. Oh, cool. So, I don't know. It's maybe a coincidence? Right. No geographers, right. no, no like authors, <laughs> none of that. Okay. Yeah. Um, this may be a difficult question to answer. Yeah. Um, but if you could narrow it down, what would be your best memory of teaching? Oh, it's, it's, it's so hard. I, I, I'd say like, you know, if it was like a flavor, right? If you're asking me like, what is your favorite flavor of teaching? Mm -hmm. Then it would just be these moments where the, the feeling of being this authority figure and being like in a job and responsible for things, blah, blah, blah. That kind of, yeah, that, that, that breaks down and a, and a kid, and, a, and an adult, me, like find a way to just relate. Yeah. And I mean, there's been a lot of that over the years. And, you know, uh, I'm not big on the system. So, you know, I don't, I don't really have a lot of pleasure from giving the <laughs> CMAS or something like that. So, <laughs> you know, um, it's, it's got to feel like we're here for something that's bigger than that. Right. Right. The stuff that keeps the you coming human, back. The human connection, the human element. Right. Yeah, and that's something that you've talked about several times, like just being a yeah. person. Yes. For people. Right. Like that's the business. That Yeah, I mean, I think especially in middle school, it's like when you have people who are at that stage of life where they're trying to figure, like, figure out oh my gosh. a little bit more than, you know, just what are the rules to follow or... Mm -hmm that they're, they're reaching for now for an identity maybe mm -hmm. even. Yeah, it's great to be there, you know, and involved. Yeah, yeah. it's the crucible. Yeah, I mean, people say like, oh, you teach middle school, you must be a saint, you know. Um, Are you? No, I am not, <laughs> um, not currently. But, uh, but I, I think the thing is that it's like, how do you communicate with somebody like, this is the most exciting thing to be involved in yeah really you know well one of the things that i love about teaching is that it's different every day right like we do not have the same day twice no we don't even if you tried it wouldn't happen yeah that's exactly right i agree with that yeah yeah okay what else you ready for this next one yeah i am this is new to me okay okay yeah so this is a staff edition of okay. who would it be who would it be okay okay all right okay i'm ready so from our staff, who would be most likely to be able to do a magic trick? Our staff, who would be most likely to do a magic trick? Uh, you know, Adrian, I would think. Okay. Okay. Like something that he just, he knew. Yeah. He's been able to do this for a while. Yeah, I yeah. would think that he has okay. a few magic tricks. Tricks up his sleeve. Okay. Is that right? You tell me. <laughs> okay. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he can tell us. Okay, yes. I guess we can prove this. Okay. Okay. All right. Not all of these, though. Okay. Who would be most likely to take someone's pen and keep it? Take someone's pen and keep it? Yeah. I don't know. Um, Sandy Heiser. Oh, yeah. Okay. Especially if it was a nice one, like flared. I don't think it has to be a nice one. I don't think it matters. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Any pen. Any pen. Okay. If it's lying there. Got it. Got it. Who would be most likely to have 40 tabs open on their computer at once? <laughs> uh, I feel like there's a lot of names yeah. out there for this one. Yeah, there's a ton. Um, you know, 40 tabs. That's something I feel like uh, Kathy Shockensee would do. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is she the person that you've worked with the most currently at Long's Peak? I mean, she's the person that I've worked with the closest in my entire career. Yeah. And I say it's like the last six years, I mm -hmm. think. It's been a while. Yeah, that we've been, I mean, and essentially like collaborating to the point of like sharing right. jobs, yeah. basically. Same team, same grades. Same team, same grades, same yeah. subjects, and then creating all the materials and mm -hmm. yeah, cool. yeah. The, 
a super rewarding part because you know as you get to my stage of the game it's like uh you know you need to be carried across the finish line because it feels like it's farther and farther away every day actually not right. closer so well, it's good to have that person who's like okay we're gonna do this together yeah yeah to put air back in your tires so to speak so to speak yes okay who would be most likely to argue with their pet megan wisman yeah Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's Claire. Man, I could see Claire getting in an argument. Oh, who's Claire? <laughs> Her cat. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Who would be most likely to try to hide a zombie bite? So they've been infected, but they don't want anyone else to know. Pete. Mm. Yeah. 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 Okay. I He's think trying to put I on think, a brave face. Yeah, I think he does actually have zombie bites. We could prove it. <laughs> <laughs> okay all right could be something that we look into um so i wanted to ask you about I, i've heard a couple of pieces of advice already okay just like what um what your take on education is and what you, you cherish from this this whole business um mm -hmm. so i'd like to kind of dive into that a little bit more okay yeah yeah okay I mean, you know, these are these are both the like I'd, I'd say this is a painful can be a kind of a painful subject about education and about you know where it has failed like and bonds, what I have yeah. witnessed in its failure. Uh, so I'm going to start with that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, so I've been in this for almost 30 years, and I don't see a great deal of change in the system. And I, I think that it's kind of gotten um, worse in some ways. Like it's, it's gotten narrowed in its focus about uh, reading and writing and math and so forth and so on. When, when we're dealing with people and they're trying to like, they're trying to live in a world where it's hard to make sense of it. So mm -hmm. I think it would be better for it to be more diverse. And it hasn't been. Um, Do you feel like that's changed recently? Like you um, in this 30 years, um, trying to get the focus more back on relationships and um, just just yeah. the whole child. Right. I, I mean, I know that people have tried to bring that back. Yeah. Um, but I'm not sure it was ever there to begin with in, in okay. as strong a way as it really needed to be. I, I've said for years that school should be like summer camp and um, it should be structured like summer camp. Mm -hmm. And you should get to do a lot of things. Exploratory. And it could be more exploratory than it is. Yeah. Um, okay, so the cherishing part is, um, you know, certainly with, with, you know, my relationships with my colleagues and um, having lived side by side for 20 years with people at Long's Peak, you know, and see them every day. And, you know, I mean, this is just something like you just, a lot of adults don't have that experience, mm -hmm. you know, with one another. Um, they, they go to work, they don't interact that much with their colleagues or they, you know, whatever, I could go on and on about that. It's unique. It is unique, yeah. You it's, don't see it. it. It's a workplace that's not like others. Um, so I cherish that and I cherish, of course I cherish like all the different people that, um, you know, have, been in my classroom for like a year and then they've gone on to become people that I, I don't even know where they've gone what they've done yeah um but i have had that i've had that impact yeah. and when people will always say about teachers like oh you know you just can't you can't you can't ever know what is going to happen but i felt like my impact is something that i've felt in while it's happening right you know so it's visceral yeah there's a component yeah that. because i want to have that impact yeah yeah manifesting it yeah um i'm going to qualify this question sure okay yeah uh besides relationships yeah if you could give yourself a piece of advice in your first year what would it be so advice for a first year teacher for you specifically for me oh if you could go back in time and talk to you oh, oh. at mapleton school district yeah, I would say, is there anything else that you've thought of that you could possibly <laughs> do? Maybe something that's more lucrative, you know? 
Um, I, I mean, I just don't have a lot of, of that feeling of like, this was my destiny, you mm -hmm. know? And so I must be, be this in my memories and my future. My, I don't have any of that. In all arenas. Yeah, right? I'm just not nostalgic like that. Yeah. You know, um, it was work. And I was glad to do it, and I was glad to have it. I was certainly blessed and grateful yeah. to have the work. But uh, I, I feel like I could have done so many different things. So I guess I would say to the person like me, I would say, OK, do this for some time and then reevaluate. Is this really what, mm -hmm. you know, is this doing it, you know? I think that's a healthy way to live. Yeah. And we could do that with a lot of things. Right. I mean, it's just the problem, though, is it's you start working and, man, it's difficult to reflect. You know, right. you're, you really go, you go, go, go. Yeah. And it, there's not a lot of time to <laughs> sit back and go, hey, hey is this really <laughs> what I want to be doing or not? Yeah. You know, yeah. But for most of my time as a teacher, I didn't even think about that, really. I felt like, the, of course, it was what I wanted to be doing, and I wanted to get better at it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's something I've appreciated about you, too. Like, you've always taken each year as the challenge and as the opportunity to grow yeah. as a teacher. And, like, that's not something that you can say about a lot of people. Right, um, right. You, you kind of get stuck in your, in your ways, your comfort zone. Well, we know each other as improvisational musicians, so uh, we know that right. that's that's a real big driving force in my life. Is like I don't want to just go through the motions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Unless I need to go through the motions. Sure. Yeah. Proctoring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For instance. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, so this one is more for everybody. Mm. Okay, not mm -hmm. just a young Ari Gold. Yes. What's something that someone should face as a challenge in order to grow as a person? Like, is there something that, that you think everyone should experience? Uh, like, face your fears, right? Kind of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've never been into that. In general um, way. <laughs> yeah. um, I think the fear of failure is the one thing that I would... Um, try to bring out more to to help people understand like uh failure is it it doesn't feel good but it really is good because it 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 sets you up to grow that's that's mostly what we grow from mm -hmm. like you know my father used to say to me when i was younger why would you plan to fail right like don't plan for failure right but uh, you know i as I got older, I was like, no, you should really like embrace failure. And, and that, that will lead to understanding more. It can be a part of the process. Right, yeah. right, right, right. I mean, you know, like it happens so much when you're teaching, right? I mean, it's like you do a lesson and then you're like, oh God, never again, mm -hmm. you know? And you really learn mm -hmm. like in a way that's much more profound, I think, than other learnings might be. I do like the second chance that you get, though, because maybe it didn't work for a certain group of kids. Right. And then you think about it and retweak it, retool exactly. it. And exactly. Right and that's, there it is. Right. There is the learning. Yep. Okay. Mm. Last piece of advice. Yes. What is something wonderful that one can embrace every day? As a teacher or just in general? In general. Anyone either by it happening naturally or seeking it out? Uh, you know, certainly gratitude, you know, and really like being able to, you know, you know do it in some way that's not so cheesy and like, I don't know, like a, 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 a commercial for meditation or something like that, you know, like, <laughs> like, like, uh, you know, like truly understanding what you have right. and what, you know, what you can give. So it, almost a mini version of the reflection. Yes. Right? Yeah. It's like, how are things going right now? Right, right. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. You, you picked that up quick. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm grateful for you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and thank you. 
and thank you all. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is a kind of a collaboration here. Um, so I thought that we could go back and forth. Okay. Take turns reading them if you okay. want. Okay, sure. Um, but this is a top 10 list okay. of you and what people appreciate about working with you and what they're going to miss and the, um, the qualities that you bring to Long's Peak specifically. Oh, so am I going to make this up right now with you? No. Oh. No, I've oh. got them written down. Okay. I'll hand you the card. Okay. <laughs> I guess. Um, so this is in no particular order, even though it is called a top 10. Okay. Um, so I couldn't like narrow that down or anything. Oh. Unless you want it to be. No, no. It's a, oh, okay. Good. It's, go ahead. Okay. What do you got? Um, do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? You go first. Okay. Okay. So, number 10. <laughs> you taught this person to see kids and not curriculum, which is just what we've talked about uh, for the last 20 minutes. Right? Yeah. That's wonderful. And I think that that has been a key part of what, what you bring to the table. Ah. Uh. Number two. Okay. 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 Laughing, lunches, and sign language. I feel like you know Becky. who that's from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, who else would it be from? <laughs> yes. Sign language. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I'm, keep, I'm trying to keep my hands to myself. Go ahead. Right. Yeah, this is filmed. <laughs> uh, the next one. Ridiculous conversations about nonsense yes. with a great friend. Uh, Everyone needs irreverence. Absolutely. Right? I can't take too much reverence. You know that. I do. Yeah. All too well. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh. <laughs> Through the best and the worst, he is nothing but real. We always get the genuine Ari. Ah, uh, it's not. How do you guys know that? No, oh. no, I'm just kidding. I'm only kidding. I suppose we don't. Hmm. That was too real. Sorry. Can we find out next year? Um, no, <laughs> no, no. I'm joining the witness protection program. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, taking the time to comfort an overwhelmed, crying first year teacher. He has a good heart and is always there with completely honest advice. Oh. That one was nice. Are you sure this is Long's Peak? I'm pretty sure. OK. Yes. All right. Uh, new card. Yeah. I want you to know that I misnumbered these. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. um, presumably, I teach math. OK, yes. All right, where am I to read? On the uh, top? top? Yeah, go top. Always keeps me on my toes. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Do you agree with that? I don't know. I have no idea. Oh. Do you feel like you're on your toes? No. Heels. Yeah. Heels. <laughs> heels. High heels. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. Okay. Next. Um, no better storyteller at LPMS. Not even close. Oh. That one was mine. I wrote that. You did? Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Um, because every time I thought of like what I would say, yeah. it's just all of the, the, the story, stories the that stories you've that told, told you. right? Yeah. And how those become like inside jokes in their own way. Right. That could be its own top 10 or more. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I really, uh, well, I, so I, I tell the same stories, right, uh, a that's, lot. That's great. And, um, I realized that I was telling them and they were kind of always coming up in certain situations. Yeah. And so it led me to write a book, you know, about about what all these different stories. Yeah. Right. And um, I think I think that when I realized one day that almost everyone has the same stories, like I sat on a plane one time and somebody started telling me, oh, that reminds me. And they just basically ten, 10 in a row, you know, of the same stories that right. I've told. I realized, oh, we're all living the same things. Archetypes. You know? Right. Yeah. Yeah. We could go all the way back to the Greeks. Yeah. Hmm. OK. I don't know if I want to, though. Um, I 
yeah, I think that that's something that would be my favorite memory. Witticisms. What is that? I think any situation. You've okay. got something to add and something to say, okay. and it will make people laugh. Okay. Is it, a, is it an illness? Um, hmm. Okay. How have you been feeling lately? Witty. Yeah? Yeah. That's one of the signs. I'm so witty. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Uh, Ari has a way with words, which makes me simultaneously laugh, cringe, and wool gather. <laughs> What is that last word? Wool gather. What does that mean? I didn't know. And I didn't want to look it up um, because I felt like it was something that I should know. Was that, I don't. Was that Caitlin? No. Who was that? Do you really want to know? No. Go ahead. This person knows who they are. Okay. Okay. All right. Last one's yours. Uh, regularly helps me remember the big picture of what's important. I mean, I'm really super, super touched to, like, because there's it, there's a lot of the sort of same spirit, yeah. you know, in a lot of these, and it it just it makes me feel like, um, you know, I've helped people, you know, in ways that I didn't wasn't going about. I wasn't trying to help. Yeah. I was just being me and walking away, you know, and and it's really neat that that people feel that way. That's great. Yeah. And there were more. But then it'd be like a top yeah. 15, 16. That's too many. 17. No, this is fine. 18. I like those. Those are good. Yeah. I thought it was a good list. Yeah. I liked what we got. <laughs> Number 11. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For that's, any questions. That's actually 1 through 10. Please ask Ari Gold. <laughs> that was it. I covered it all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I, I think that you have done a lot. I've done a lot. Yeah. And you said that you've touched lives and made an impact and seen that impact. And I think that that's um, something that I've seen too. Uh, and I, a lot of people have. That's great. I mean, I'm so glad. It, it's just, it, you live inside yourself, you know, and you live as a teacher, you, you, you're very introspective if you are doing the work. Mm -hmm. And I just don't think that much about uh, you know, like when uh, when I walked in here and, and uh, Colin was trying to show me all the uh, awards, you know, I mean, it, it's just so silly. It made me think about all the awards that I've uh, I've never wanted in this job, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like almost all of them. They go here and the award goes to and then I'm like, oh, thank God it's not me, you know, because I you just don't do it for that. Right. You know, if yeah. you're doing it for that, it's very disappointing, I think. Yeah. There's a lot of them. Yeah. Fluid. I'll be mm, dealing Dynamic. with being a teacher for 30 more years. Oh, yeah. You know? No, you're, you're kind of sold by now. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, you know, what well, do you then. think? Oh. Subbing? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> no, but really? No. Okay. But for me? No. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, every now and again, a pebble is thrown into the pond. And then the ripples move forth, and we find ourselves impacted by the waves. Our equal. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> to the whisper of sweet sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> you, were, you were on it, but let me. <laughs> Welcome, friends near and far, to the whisper of sweet nothings from one to another. When a life can't be summed up in 4,800 words or less, it's time for a moment with Ari Gold. Welcome, Ari. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Welcome, Mr. Gold. Are you surprised to see me? Where? Oh! Welcome to my lair. 